Like, what does that even mean? Well, the White House explained it to us. It is a six-armed service dedicated to fight wars in space. Now, that doesn't mean it's a done deal. An independent branch can't be created until Congress approves it. However, they can start, you know, getting things ready, and that's exactly what they're doing. As of now, there is no independent military branch focused on space, but there is a pretty big space command within the Air Force. The knee is back, and several NFL players made it crystal clear. In the preseason games, players took a knee, raised their fists, or stayed off the field during the national anthem. A new NFL policy announced earlier this year requires players to either stand during the national anthem or remain in the locker room. However, the NFL said that they were delaying implementing it. Trump, on the other hand, was like, nope, suspend them and without pay. We knew it all along, and finally, the Puerto Rican government came clean. The number of people that died after Hurricane Maria was not 64, more like 1,400. Not double, not triple, 20 times the original number. This came out in the draft of a report sent to Congress requesting billions in recovery funds. Makes it one of the deadliest hurricanes to ever hit the U.S. The opioid crisis is Swiping out U.S. humanity, the CDC revealed the number of U.S. women who gave birth addicted to opioids quadrupled over 15 years. This epidemic has killed tens of thousands of people in the past few years and was actually declared a public health emergency. States with the highest spikes were Maine, New Mexico, Vermont, and West Virginia. Another thing that's swiping things out are the California wildfires. In particular, the Mendocino Complex fires, which is now the largest fire in state history. If it was a city, the fire would be the 14th largest in the entire country. The National Weather Service also showed in a graphic how the smoke is traveling all the way to New York. Like, think about that. It's crazy. <laughs> 